everyone, it's Amanda from Crystal Coast Originals. I'm so excited to be doing this painting today. Um, the last video that I uploaded was a monochromatic swipe and I got so many just awesome and encouraging comments and I got a lot of views on the video and I really appreciate all the support. I hope that the video was helpful and that you guys enjoyed it. So again, thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to show you guys the painting. It is now dry. So this is the monochromatic swipe painting, all dry. I absolutely love this painting. Still, even with it being dry, <laughs> it still looks great in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna stick this over here so I don't step on it or get anything on it. So today I'm gonna do, well, I don't know if you guys remember it, but towards the end of the last video, I had mentioned that I was going to add red to the monochromatic painting. And I decided not to, which I'm so glad I decided not to because it looks great. But I got to thinking, you know what? Maybe we should add some red. So what I have here is I have Lamp Black, I have Artist Loft Gray, I have Liquitex Silver, and this is a mixture of Deep Red and Scarlet. The, um, the Deep Red wasn't quite as red as I wanted. It was more of like a berry color. So I wanted something a little more, a little more red, like red blonde red kind of. So that is what this is. Um, and again, you guys, this is the Shelly style art um, formula. Well, it's kind of a play on her formula. Um, I have taken her course and um, we use different, um, different formulas only because she's in Australia, I'm in the US, so we don't have access to the same products. But if you guys would like to take her course, I have an affiliate code. I've listed it in the description box and you can get 15% off the course. So if you want to take the course, I recommend it. It's very informative on how to mix your paints. Um, if you don't, perfectly fine too. But um, yeah, I think that's business taken care of. So let's get to painting. Um, this is a 10 by 20 canvas. The other one I did was a 12 by 24, but I wanted to go a little bit smaller this time, see how the smaller one looks. I've already laid down my um, pillow paint of white paint. And so now we're just going to go ahead and layer. Um, I was kind of going back and forth on how I wanted to layer this. I think what I'm going to do is do the black first, then the red, then gray, then silver. And I was thinking of saving the red for the top, but I kind of want it to be a little muted with the other colors. Like I don't want it to be like, whoa, in your face red. So that's why I decided I was gonna maybe do the red after the, after the black. So we'll see how that looks. Get this black color down. I live in North Carolina and it's so cold outside. <laughs> like we're supposed to get snow tonight and I'm actually really happy about it because you know, that means business is closed and everything closes because the first sign of snow, we just close down everything because <laughs> it's just the way we are, which is fine means we get like a break from school, a break from work. So it's cool with me. All right, so now for the red. This is probably way too much paint. I always make way too much, but you know, Better to have too much than not enough, I suppose. All right, so now for the gray. 
I'm not gonna put quite so much gray. I'm just gonna leave it at that. And silver. I love silver. There was a lady that commented on the last post that she was so glad I used silver because everybody always uses gold, which I have to admit, I'm kind of one of those people too that always uses gold. But I just like metallics in general. I like bronze, I like copper, so it is nice to, to be using something other than, other than gold all the time. And silver's gorgeous too, nothing wrong with silver. All right, so we're gonna try my big piece of plastic again and see how this works. I think I can actually get the hole, well, maybe not quite the hole, but pretty close to the hole, um, the whole canvas. All right, here we go. Well, that didn't work that well. All right. So instead of using this, let me put this down. We're gonna use my scraper. There we go, that's better. All right, so now I'm going to flip over and do the other side. Oh, I already like how this is turning out. Very cool. All right. Nice. I have a tendency to get heavy handed <laughs> with things, especially this, this scraper. So I'm trying to be very light and remind myself not to just plunk it down and drag. So try to be very light with it. space to wipe it off. All right, here we go, last one. A beautiful. Looks really cool. The only thing I don't like too much is like, these streaks, and that's what happens when you can't use like a whole piece of plastic to to pull it down with. So sometimes I will get these are like these are old business cards that I had that have like the wrong email address and everything on them. So sometimes I'll get these and kind of drag over to maybe kind of try to minimize just the streaks if I can. I mean, the streaks aren't necessarily a bad thing. I just, I just don't like the straight lines when I'm trying to do fluid paintings. But you know, hey, that's just me. Whatever, whatever you like, go for it. All right, so I'm gonna wait a second. I'm gonna let all the cells, all the lacing, everything kind of pop up and then we'll tilt it. I'm also going to try to put a little bit of paint on these corners because corners can sometimes be, be a problem. They don't want to cover and maybe with a little bit of paint on them. 
are we more inclined to flow and move? It looks cool. Look at all the cells. So pretty. Cells and lacing. Some of my favorite things. All right. So I think I'm going to try to push it this way first. I got to get these corners taken care of. So I'm going to kind of just pull it this way. of that corner. There we go. down a few more to go all right back to this one Must be a pain, doesn't it? All right. Now we're going to come back to this other side. corner and we'll be done thank goodness these corners eek. there we go oh I like the off-centeredness of that cool I kind of like it not being straight across in the middle going straight across that it kind of kind of dips down a little bit very cool I like the red Yeah, for sure. Make sure I'm getting all those ends covered that don't like to be covered.
awesome. Well, I think we're going to call that one done. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you like the red? Do you like the monochromatic style better? I'm honestly not sure. I, I might be a little more partial to the monochromatic without the red, but I think the red looks really cool. It definitely gives it a pop. So... Look at me tilting as usual. I just can't leave well enough alone, apparently. All right, well, we're gonna call that one done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. And again, if you would like to take the Shelly Art Course, uh, you can use my affiliate code in the description box for 15% off. And yep, I think that's it. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you on the next one.